Have you ever wondered how to repurpose a vertical video that you probably you know recorded on Facebook Live or IG Live, how to repurpose it and use it on YouTube? Well, I got you because this has been a question that I have been getting lately because I've been uploading a couple of these videos into my YouTube channel. I had a couple of people in the comments ask me, hey, Lise, how do how are you doing this, right? So let me show you how I am doing this so that you can do it also. All right. Okay. So let's take a deep dive into it. Okay. So this will be an example of a video that maybe you have done inside of your Facebook, uh, as a Facebook live and it's vertical and you want like, okay, this is great content. So how do I use this on my YouTube channel? Cause I want to repurpose it. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Okay. So here is what we're going to create minus my mouth being wide open, but this is what we're going to create. Very similar, not exactly, but very similar. And I'm going to show you how I am de definitely doing this so that you can do it as well. Okay. So what we're going to use is we're going to use Canva to create this. And so the first step is to go into your uh, list. So we're going to go to create and we're going to go to presentation. And now we have a blank canvas. And so I want to design this blank canvas and still allow me to have my title. So what I like about the example that I showed you from Instagram is that I was able to build my desk. So I'm going to go over here to photos and I'm going to type, type, type in office PNG. I think that's right. And you're going to see PNG, like desktop kind of items. Let's put in desk. I think I like desk better. Let's put in desk PNG. And PNG means that it's going to have a transparent background. So let's put in desk. And see, now I've got uh, paper clips. So I like that. That's in my color. I like this wad of paper. So I'm going to use this. Uh-oh. Say it undo so I can get the whole amount. Uh, let's see. I also like this. So we're going to sort of build this over here. I like this greenery. Gives an extra little pop. And then I think I'm going to put this paper clip a little small. Now what I need is like a laptop or a keyboard. So let me type in key, keyboard. PNG and see does a P ah look at that I got there so I'm gonna use this and I'm going to position this toward the back so right now I'm just building my my desktop and so do I want this water paper I'm gonna put it over here and I might turn it a little bit. You know what I'm missing though? I think I want a coffee mug. So let's go ahead and do coffee mug. See if I can just type in coffee and see what, there we go. So we're gonna do this one. I think I like that one better. And I'm gonna put this over here. And you want to be mindful if you do this, you want to be mindful of the size because a paper clip is not that large. I'm going to move it a little bit over here. And this might change a little bit because we are going to want to put our cell phone uh, frame in here as well. I think I'm good with that. That's not perfect, but that's fine. So now I'm going to look for a, I'm going to go over here to elements. Scroll down here to frames. And then I'm going to look for a cell phone. This one looks great. I'm going to enlarge it. And so I think I'm going to put my video here. And then what I would do is probably put my title. So let's go over here to text. And I am going to title it. repurpose your IGTV videos for YouTube. 
So that's going to be my title is going to sit over here. And there are some other things that you can do as well. You can put your um, your Instagram handle if you want to on here. I'm going to enlarge that keyboard just a little bit. All right. So now if you uh, when you go when you download your um, Facebook video. So let's go over here. Let's go back to Facebook. And so if you did a Facebook live video. Let's go to my page. And if you're not sure how to download it, I'm going to just see if we can do that now. And to the point, all right? So, hi, my name is... So, you open up the video, you click on the three dots, and you should see the option to download video. You click that, it will download. Give it a couple of minutes, it will download. And then once you have done that, you'll go back into Canva and you will go to upload the video. And so right now I have already uh, uploaded a video. Let me click on videos. That will help, help me find it faster. And these are the videos that I've uploaded, okay? So once you've uploaded, all you have to do is drag the video into the, um, Hello, the phone frame. Let me ask you this. So let's stop that. And if you need to trim it, you can trim it up here. You play back. I don't really necessarily need to do that. Um, here, if you wanted to, you could increase the size if you wanted this to be a little bigger. Right? If you wanted to show the whole entire phone, you can size it down a little bit. Once you're pleased with the placement, but I like mine to be a little bigger. Once you are happy with the placement, all you have to do if you want to go ahead and hit play to make sure everything is playing great. And Not as you can sure see, is it so and again, like I said, you can trim it if you need to by pulling in these uh, purple bars. But I don't normally I keep it as is. And then once you've done, all you have to do is hit the download button. Choose save MP4 video. So we're going to do that and it will start to download. Now, depending on how long this video is, let me give you all a little bit more face. Depending on how long this video is, it really determines how long it's going to take to download it, right? And I'm not going to make you guys walk through all of that with me. But once you have uh, the video has downloaded, then you just go into your YouTube channel and you upload it like any other video. Now you're able to take your vertical video and actually repurpose it for YouTube. You can also use this video on your, uh, on YouTube, not YouTube, on Facebook as a new video as well. So some people you can, might not like to see your video in a vertical way and they like to actually view your video in this way, but you can reuse it as well for your YouTube. Uh, you can use it for your Facebook page. You can reuse it and upload it onto your blog site. So there's so many different options. If you have a course and you tend to, you love this video, this is great video and you have a course and you want people to watch this video, then now you can upload it into one of your course platform as well. So there's so many multiple ways that you can do it. But this is a really eye-catching way so that you can actually repurpose your vertical video into a horizontal format so that you can use it on YouTube or Facebook or any other places. All right. So I hope that tutorial helped you guys. If you need any, have any other questions or you'd like to, for me to demo any other thing for you, just let me know. I'd be glad to do it. All right. You guys have an awesome and blessed day and I'll be talking to you later. Oh. I forgot, don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, because I like to drop new videos like this every week so that you guys can continue to grow your coaching business, continue to market your business in the most e easiest way possible. You guys have an awesome and blessed day again. Peace out.